Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay, so here we are. A uh, new game. And in case you haven't noticed, it's Nancy Drew. Uh, first off, before I start with this game, um, let me just say that I'm an avid Nancy Drew fan. And I collect the books. I have mm, most of them actually. And the classic ones especially. But I'm quite new to this game and never played this game before. So it's just a break from my usual uh, hidden object casual games. And uh, as you can see, well, it's kind of different. Uh, this is a new thing for me. I've never seen really this before pretty creative that you're on her desk uh, let's see. how to be a detective hmm. so we use the table and cut it down I guess I should just peek around. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. Mr. Woogle Woogle. A teddy bear? Uh huh. I've never seen that in the book. As always, your mission <laughs> is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. But in this game, The White Wolf of Icicle Creek, the screen is going to look a little different than it did before. On the lower left side of the screen, you'll see icons for the things that I, Nancy Drew, need like my inventory, journal, and task list. While on the lower right side of the screen, you'll see icons for the things you as the player need, like options, load, save, and exit icons. The icon in the mat above the screen lets you know when I'm wearing something I found in the course of the game. Take a look at the chapter titled Icons for more details. Huh. Well, this is neat. It's got icons. That's the inventory. Journal. Uh huh. Well, I think I'm gonna tone down the music and the effects a little. I don't need to turn down the duration, so. Okay. Huh. Oops. Let's go back. And how do you click this back? Huh. I wonder how you move back. Let me see. Oh, there you go. And here's the case file. 
We're going to Canada. Yeah. Oh. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I only just started recording this game, so I did them for myself mostly. But if you like them enough, um, don't let me stop you from hitting the like button, whatever, or, j or the subscribe button. Um, this is an actually an old, older version. I mean, an earlier version of a Nancy Do game. There is a new one that's out, and it's called. Um, oh, is that the Ghost of Thornton Hall? And it's. Sounds a little similar to the book Ghost of Blackwood Hall, but I hear it's a slightly different story. Anyway, it's out right now. Um, it's uh, out in digital format. It will be out on May the 14th, as I've heard. But there's already a gameplay ongoing for it, and so I want to be playing that on this channel. Not because there's already one for it, but I've already got a dozen items in queue. But in case anyone wants to... I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for... To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow... If you want to check out the gameplay for it, um, there is an ongoing gameplay right now um, on a online friends channel. Um, he's one of the most popular gamers around here, so I included a link to this channel um, down in the description if you'd like to check it out. Anyway, right kids? Anyway, if um, there is anything down here, I'm not gonna waste any time anymore. And I apologize in advance, I'm going to talk too much because I'm really that much of a person and I like to concentrate on the game, but I will try not to bore myself or anyone else. So right now I'm going to click on Junior because, like I said, I'm new to this and I'm really not that experienced. So here we go. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. You hear that? Well now, what was that? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. That's where Elsa and Becky have been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think 
I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. <laughs> I you don't want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah! That's an excellent idea! Alright! You're my new maid! In fact, you're my new cook, too! Your cook? Well, that yeah, way, right. Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone! Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up. So I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Slave driver. Especially That's that Olympic what this caliber cross country skier from Fredonia. Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what cook. I need to attract the European jet setting crowd. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Oh. Balducci. Okay, that was a mistake, so let me start here again. I have so many fatal errors, I don't know where to start anymore. I mean, where to begin again. What are you doing? Go shovel off the pond so Lou and I can skate. Hmm. Later, dude. Snubbish. Shovel off the pond. Is something wrong? You, you are what is wrong. Chantal said there will be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest! No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid. And the new cook. Forgive me. Allow me to start over. I am Yanni Vokstaya. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work drills and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. I understand. No, what you must understand is this. If anything is missing, or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me, and it will not be a pleasant one. Okay. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. You don't really believe that, do you? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I am going to say on the matter. You're busy, so I'll let you go. Come back any time. Huh. Need something? You look busy. What are you making? I'm building something that's gonna solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck. And something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Why do you say that? Yesterday I went looking for it. 
I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she's something. Can you tell me more about the accidents that have been happening around here? Nope, sure can. You can't or you don't want to? Chantal and those lawyers of hers said I couldn't talk about them. Supposed to direct all questions to her. Sorry. Mm. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I was her first hire. Best hire, too. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. Have you ever been in the guest lodge business before? I tried my hand at it once. Long story short, didn't work out. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. Have you seen that strange concrete monument thing that's out there on the trail? Trapper Dan's Needle? Of course. What can you tell me about it? All I can tell you is, it was built by the same stir-crazy old guy who built this place. Maybe something in that display up in the lobby will tell you what you want to know. Does your wife, Freddy's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddy'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddy south too is out of the question. That's all the questions I had. If you need anything, just holler. There's the skating pond. Guess I better get this pond shoveled off. Okay, we're gonna save here before we start the puzzle. Again, Let's 
save again. I think I can almost hear the ice cracking. There you go. Yes, but I'm okay now. I just got a little wet. I know what she's gonna say. She's gonna fire you. Again. Poor Nancy. Whoa! Oh. You fell through the ice? Yes, but I'm okay now. I just got a little... Okay, I think that was the fourth one. One, two, three... One. Yes, but I'm okay now. Six so <laughs> we're not easy. Yes, but I'm okay. Uh, 
Let's see. I think it's this one. Okay now. Should be the last one, huh? Let's see. Whoa! Yep, it's that one. Okay. Yes, but I'm okay now. I just got a. Whoa! Oh, I pick up the wrong one. You fell through the ice. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, but I'm okay now. That means I missed something. You fell through the ice? Yes, but I'm okay now. I just got a little wet. I think I placed that wrong. Uh -huh, now I can't remember where that was. Have to keep saving. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it's the next one. You fell through the ice? Yes, but that ought to do it. Wait Finally. a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. Sounded like oh. an explosion. I think there's an avalanche. What's that noise? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I'm buried in snow. I've got to dig myself out before I run out of air. Never make it. I can barely breathe. Someone's up there. Help! I'm down here, right under you. Can you hear me? Help! I can't breathe. They heard me. Thank goodness. <gasps> Easy. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. There's the white wool. It's gone, but thanks to that hole it dug, I can breathe again. Now if I can just pull myself out. Hmm. 
This must have been made by the explosion I heard. A fossil. Cool. Wolf fuzzle. Okay, I'm going back. again. Yeah, I thought she was gonna collapse of hypothermia. Hmm, I guess I'll call the avalanche patrol this time. from the Icicle Creek Lodge, but I wanted to report an avalanche at Chicken Ridge. Anyone injured or trapped? Uh, not anymore. We'll check it out. Thanks for the heads up. Hey, wait a minute. You know Ollie Randall? The handyman here at the lodge? He's also on the patrol. Do me a favor and tell him that the explosives training in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Explosives training? Sometimes the patrol has to use explosives to bring down unstable snow. Yearly training sessions are mandatory. Ollie will know what I'm talking about. I'll tell him. Appreciate it. One more thing. Have any of you guys been setting off explosives anywhere near the Icicle Creek Lodge recently? Nope, sure haven't. Well, thanks. Bye. <sighs> okay. I think it's time to call this. <laughs> Not that one. The ice fishing that I did before. Yep, spotted stripe one. Nancy, I'm glad to see you. Are you all right? You seem upset. You must listen. I was outside skiing very fast, as usual, and suddenly, boom! Snow, dirt, rocks, everything went flying into the air right in front of me. There is a mad bomber on the loose. You think it was a bomb? Of course it was a bomb. My competitors bombed the bunkhouse thinking I would be so frightened that I would abandon my training and leave. Only I wasn't frightened. So now they are trying to bomb me. You're right. Do you think they're responsible for all the accidents that have been happening around here as well? My competitors and the governments behind them, they are as desperate as they are ruthless. They are capable of anything. They can operate anywhere in the world You're under right. all conditions. It would not surprise me if someone right here in the lodge is right now under their employ. But to them, I say, pa, they do not scare me. I am the best cross-country skier in the world. I will neutralize their petty threats with my excellent strength, skill, and speed. I am sorry. Enough about my problems. Did you want something? You're busy, so I'll let you go. It has been a pleasure. Okay, let's find Ollie. What you need? The Avalanche Patrol asked me to tell you that the explosives training session in Calgary has been postponed till next month. Well, hallelujah. I didn't really want to go anywhere until I finished off that wolf. Now I won't have to. Um. So, you're on the avalanche patrol, huh? Yep. Dang. I just remembered. 
Patrol wants me to keep an eye on Skookum Ridge for the next couple of weeks. Here, there's the key to the snowmobile. Take it out to Skookum Ridge and see if there's been an avalanche. You want me to check it out? Seat seated so you don't have to worry about the cold. Make sure you call the patrol and give them a report when you're done. You can handle that, can't you? But I've never driven a snowmobile before. Yep. It ain't rocket science. I hope so. Because they crashed already. That Bill Kessler guy's getting bored being the only one around here doing any ice fishing. He wants competition. So if he says anything to you, just remember that Chantal wants you to keep the guests we got happy. Other thing is, the cold snap's on its way. You think it's cold now? Just wait. Gotta be real careful anytime you're outside. So, we done here? I'll get out of your hair now. See you later. Fine. Well, we can do the avalanche patrol later, I guess. Or do we have to do them? Because I hate, I really hate all my maid duties here. Um, two. Should be burn easily. Ah, uh, see, this is when we burn down the kitchen. Cook. You need a fire permit. <laughs> Fine. We should save. I forgot to save beforehand. Never leave that in the cooking. Oh, shoot. I got three. One, two, three. What else? Okay. Keep forgetting. Order up.
Okay, finally. We're done cooking. I'm gonna talk to these boozos. They're not here, huh? Is it still warm? Uh, I can't go out, I guess. Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Yeah, that is. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with a check. Elsa. Hmm. Let's not. Time to change the title of this one to. Um, let's see. Snooping. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Change the title to Snoopy. Oh, that was my beeper. I mean, timer. Sorry. Slave driver. Ask Yanni if it would be all right if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon. I said before, I'll say it again. She's a slave driver. Okay. Well, I'll stop it here. And I'll see you guys in the next Uncut video.